Greetings, everyone. I almost said greetings, critical viewers. That would have been a mistake. Uh, this video will be about my favorite comedians. Um, just in case you were bored and need a laugh and you don't know about some of the people that I'm going to list. So here you go. Oh, what is that? Oh! There's something, something in my water. What, what is that? got contaminated okay and yes every event that happens in my life is met with a egregiously inappropriately obnoxious response so yeah because uh, if you don't respond like that then life's boring it's like oh there's something in my water you gotta get crazy with it that's my philosophy anyway everything is exciting so that's how I live my life but Let's get away from the philosophical thing. Okay, favorite comedians. Favorite, number one, overall, period, forever, Louis C.K. If you don't know who Louis C.K. is, you poor, poor soul. But I didn't know who Louis C.K. was a year ago. So just type him in the search bar and watch any of his videos. They're all funny. Everything that he has ever said is hilarious. If you watch an interview with him on Conan or whatever, uh, I think he's, well, he, he's done an interview with Jimmy Kimmel too. But he used to be a writer on Conan. So, I think that's how he got his start. I don't know. He's been he's been a comedian for a long time. He's old and fat and has red hair. But he's hilarious and he's I'm I think I'm going to be exactly like him in about 20 years or so. Hate life, hate people, things like that. Have kids and hopefully I won't be divorced. But anyway, um, yeah, he's really funny. He has a TV show called Louie on FX, I believe. It's on Hulu. Uh, the first season's on Netflix. The second season is on Hulu because it just ended, I think. I don't know if it's still on there or not. But yeah, the second season of the show wasn't that good. It was kind of serious. Uh, the first season was really good, though. I really uh, enjoyed that. This is what I would look like with just a mustache. I don't think I should do that. Should I? I want to try it. I might try it. I might try shaving this part off. It's kind of scraggly anyway. Okay, enough about my beard, my appearance. That's really stupid. It's just I can see myself the entire time I'm watching this, so it's really distracting. Okay, so Louis C.K., favorite of all time. Second favorite of all time, Mitch Hedberg. And Mitch Hedberg, unfortunately, is dead. But um, he's a very different style of comedy than Louis C.K. Uh, Mitch Hedberg is sort of like, okay, I'm going to talk about him later, but Dimitri Martin. He's kind of like Dimitri Martin. Sort of got that, like, really laid back, like, clever, <laughs> you know, like, uh, 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 this is something clever I noticed about life. One-liner. And then that's the joke, you know. Uh, Mitch Hedberg has two CDs and then uh, of, of comedy that I have, and then he has an, a third one that was released post-mortem by his wife. I think. And that one's okay, but the first two are really good. Um, I, I, me and my friend, we, we, me and one of my friends, we, we quote Mitch Hedberg all the time. Uh, Spencer doesn't like him, though. He doesn't think he's funny at all. I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I can't understand that, because I can't watch him without cracking up. Um, anyway, so, Louis C.K., Mitch Hedberg, if you don't know who those guys are, just fi freaking find them. Demetri Martin might be my third. I like Dimitri Martin. Of course, he, he's probably more well-known than those two. Actually, Dimitri Martin was in uh, uh, um, Contagion. I, I watched Contagion a couple months ago. Uh, that uh, that movie with Matt Damon where, like, a plague, you know, infects the world. And then uh, Dimitri Martin played, like, a scientist, and he was in a serious role or whatever. And I was like, excuse me? Wait, was it Contagion or? Yeah, it was con Okay. For some reason, I thought for, like, a split second it might have been Rise of the Planet of the Apes, but it was not. Um, anyway, Dimitri Martin's good. I insist that you watch him as well. He's actually really smart. Um, he went to uh, Harvard or Yale. He went to one of those Ivy League schools. I feel like it was Harvard. But that maybe that's just because it's like the Ivy League school I always think of. Like, Harvard, Ivy League school, the equals, you know. Um, but uh, Dimitri Martin's hilarious. And uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to list five. Uh, fourth, uh, Mike Birbiglia. Uh, 
he has a joke about his last name. Um, it's spelled B I R B I G L I A. Um, I was watching his comedy special today on Netflix. I've actually he's the only one of these people that I've seen live. I saw him live one time and I'd never heard of him. It was actually I I think I saw him at a Shine Down show. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I saw him at some show at the House of Blues. He was there, and he did. He 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 played like in between the bands. It was really strange. Like the curtain went up while the, the one of the the headliner was setting up back there, and he he did a just a comedy show right before them. But he he's really funny, in sort of an awkward way. Um, I enjoy him very much. Uh, <laughs> his stories are funny. A, a lot of these guys, their their jokes are just like stories. Um, Actually, not a lot of them. Just Louis C.K. and Mike Birbiglia. I don't know why I said a lot of them. But those are the ones I enjoy the most. Just like, ha, that's a funny story from real life. Um, and fifth would be Dane Cook. Just kidding. Screw Dane Cook. Okay, I'm sorry. Actually, there is one. There is a, there's a couple of Dane, Dane Cook clips that I just I crack up at. But the, <laughs> it's just because he's so stupid. Okay, so, um, okay, fifth comedian. Think. Think. George Carlin. Okay, sorry. Gotta go back to the. He he's dead now too. But um, if if you're if you're a youngster and you don't know George Carlin's the 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 words, friggin' look that up. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Seven words you can't say on television. Friggin' look it up. God, go. What are you still doing here? Listening to me? I'm not nearly as funny as these guys. Look it up. Look it up. Do it. Do it. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty, just look at those five guys up. If you haven't heard of any of them, do it. Uh, Louis C.K., Dimitri Martin, I, uh, Mitch Hedberg. I listened to Dimitri Martin before Mitch Hedberg. That is a tragedy. Uh, travesty. I didn't mean tragedy. Travesty. Whatever. I can't talk. You guys know that. Okay. Oh, and if you're wondering about videos for my harshly critical channel, I'm running into some problems um, with audio and thing I've never I've never had some of these issues before so it's gonna take a little while to sort out uh, but hopefully I'll have some more tomorrow but I, I was planning on uploading a lot today on that channel I just it I it, I'm having some errors so I, I'll get it worked out I think I'm on the right track but it's just gonna take a while okay well I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching and this is the 15th vlog of the year and the 16th one is coming tomorrow Oh my god, what am I going to talk about? I don't know. I don't have anything special for Monday, so... Oh my god. Let's get this under 8 minutes. We can do this. Under 8. See you guys later. 7.59.